and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some mid-range frostbite, our next donation deck. These are some viewer submitted decks. We've been getting a lot of them recently, which is awesome. Thank you everybody for those. And so this one is some uh, is basically like the kind of generic Ash Sejuani um, frostbite deck. Um, nothing too nothing too crazy here, you know. Um, the the main change is like from like the stock list is a lot of people play Avaros and Trapper to be able to make um, an enraged Yeti in the deck, and this deck that we're playing has Kindly Tavern Keeper instead. So probably more tuned towards um, the like probably like a lower Elo if you're playing against a lot of burn um, still and a lot of aggro. We got Kindly Tavern Keepers to uh, heal us a little bit. Um, so that's that's like the one change from a lot of people playing. Myself, I'm still not convinced that Avaros and Trapper, nor Kindly Tavern Keeper, I'm still not convinced that those cards aren't better than Rhymefang Wolf myself. I'm a huge fan of Rhymefang Wolf with Ash. But uh, what what the Avaros and Trapper does making the 5-5 five five is that does help your Trifarian Assessor, and that does mean, you know, you're not, you know, it is better with Reckoning and things like that, but we'll kind of see. Uh, with this deck right here, the other thing is, um, like, the Culling Strikes are awesome. I wonder if this deck needs to kind of adapt to They Who Endure. Now that, like, within the last few days, um, how They Who Endure is, is kind of taking a, taking a big part of the metagame. And I wonder if it, and uh, to adapt to They Who Endure, maybe it needs some more just, like, single, um, easy-to-play things that frostbite any enemy. And that's probably Flash Freeze. So maybe there needs to be a flash freeze or two in a deck like this. Uh, but we're going to play it as is, and we'll see how it is. We'll see how these uh, Kindly Tavern Keepers go um, and things like that. But that's something to kind of have in the back of your mind for those of y'all that like playing Ash Sejuani decks, that it could be time to play a couple flash freezes to help against They Who Endure and the They Who Endure Atrocity combo. All right, but let's get started. Let's go play... Uh, five games over in ranked with this Ash Sejuani deck. Okay. Okay, we're definitely keeping... I'm just responding to a YouTube comment real quick. Asking if Obliterate works against Unyielding Spirit. And the answer is, yes it does. So we are playing against the, the burn deck, and so hopefully, um, Coming in hot. there we go. So hopefully, we do draw a kindly tavern keeper in a kindly matter, manner, manner. That's what I say, manner. I don't see any reason not to attack. Like, I don't see any reason not to trade these off right now. Yeah, we just got six points of damage in. Or six. Couldn't have succeeded. Got four points of damage in. Okay. Let's focus here. All right, where's our kindly tavern keeper? Ready. Ready the torches. So that's the thing, is I want to play Calling Strike, but now, like, Transfusion... Because of Transfusion, thinking maybe I shouldn't. But this is the Calling Strike turn. We are, you know, if this happens, you know, we'll draw... We'll draw two cards anyway, so we'll find, hopefully find something else to play. Okay. 
Okay, they are going transfusion. Not done yet. The aggressive line. Where you at, kindly tavern keeper? Dang. Yeah, they just go aggro. They just got another five points of burn. Yeah, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need kindly tavern keeper. Did not find it. All the world well, this card hits the hardest. We're... Yeah, we're just gonna be dead, though. It doesn't really matter. Good play for the opponent, you know, they had, uh, yeah, good play for them, by them. <laughs> I guess I should have blocked the rear guard and not blocked, like, I think that's the decision that I should have made, is I should have blocked rear guard, not blocked one of the other things, but it would have played out the exact same way. Maybe the turn before, instead of playing my second 2 1, I could have played. I could have played Culling Strike that turn. So that would have been turn three. Instead of playing the second 2 1, I could have. I should have played Culling Strike that turn, I guess. But then it still would have kind of played out the same way, though, wouldn't it? Really, Kindly Tavern Keeper? Now you're going to show up? Now you show up. I'll keep one of them. I keep this curve going. Yeah, that was very aggressive. I want to play Omen Hawk. I'm gonna do that. All right, Core Deck. Have a good night. attack in, do I? It doesn't seem like it. Monkey Idol's pretty sweet. My favorite champ and uh, region combo. Pass. Just let them use have that mana be wasted. Um... That's tough. I I'd have to say that probably my three my favorite regions are Bilgewater, Noxus, and Freljord. Those are my favorite regions. Um, but so like which I'm just gonna level these things up so fast. Turn six, they'll have leveled up Gangplank instead of twenty. Wait, how did that didn't take? Huh? I guess that doesn't take Powder Keg, does it? I was expecting that to take Powder Keg.
And maybe I need to be more aggressive attack with the other stuff. It's just not it's just not great attacking into Powder Monkey. Um, favorite champions, though? That's such a tough question because there's just so many champions I like. <laughs> like Ash, for example. really like playing Ash. We just played Twisted Fate. I don't know. I, I'm somebody who really uh, can appreciate uh, a lot of different cards and, you know, like like what they're about and things like that. And um, I don't know. It's, it's, that's a tough... That's a tough one for me. It's tough to pick out some favorites from that. Oh, the score is messed up. Sometimes that happens to the client. It says 0-1 for me, but space bar. Oh, there you go. Now it's a 0-1 for me. Dang. So they have leveled up Gangplank, so they're going to do 2 damage to all my stuff. Whenever they attack, 3 damage. They're going to have 2 Powder Kegs. Explosives. This is not going to be pretty. Let them bleed. I need Triparian Assessa. I need to draw some cards. I'll blow up the pieces! All right, so we have a fairly simple block with Flash Freeze on Gangplank. Oh my gosh. Now we're... Now we're in even more trouble. A true Felyorian welcome. Alright, so the Ice Fell Archer just also dies. We can just put it in front of stuff. That powder monkey was no joke, or I guess the monkey idol. That monkey idol was no joke. Thing still died anyway. Oh, that was bad by me. That was bad. Welcome to the tipsy I wish they had fixed this Averroes and Hearthguard. This bug has been here for months. How there is just like that, that, uh, it's just like an, it's just a visual bug. How there was that tech, that text box that had like the three dots. How that was just over, um, how that was just over the card still. That bug. 
The time is right. Strike now. Looks like they got this one. I really need Trifarian Assessors. So we, we had an Avros and Hearth Guard, so our stuff's plus one. Gosh, it's just over. This yeah, land they just go straight to attacks. And, I, and I'm dead. Gangplank Overwhelm this Overwhelm. Gangplank Trigger. I'm, I'm drawing the Crystal Arrow because it's just leveled up. I don't think that's necessarily a bad matchup for our deck. They just had, uh, you know, just having that gangplank that just we couldn't deal with, and they had a, you know, the Omen Hawk on one. Um, they got to get a couple of hits in, and then Monkey Idol get a couple of hits in. That's the problem playing like Kindly Tavern Keeper was horrible that game. You know, like if that's if that's Rhyme Thing Wolf, um, you know, we get to challenge that Monkey Idol. That's a big difference. Get that thing out of there right away. And so they don't get to level up the um, gangplank as fast. But yeah, the kindly tavern keeper really didn't do anything. But then again, the game before, the first game that we lost, kindly tavern keeper would have been amazing compared to Rhyme Fang Wolf that wouldn't have done anything. Uh, so you know, like there's that. To be fair. It's okay, mod. The the bug for try for uh, hearth guard is a visual bug. Whenever it's in play, there's just a text box over it. Oh man, talk about a card that would have been good last game. Oh man, if we would have had reckoning last game, that would have been really good. It's a big mess. Could just not play assessor. I think it's probably not worth it to not play it though. I'm not using it to challenge either of those things. So I can play this first. I'm planning on Reckoning this turn. Oh man, Babbling Bjerg's great. That would have been a good card for some card advantage. So I'm playing this first. Okay, they just pass. Gonna do it. Yeah, so when they would play something else that we'd be able to reckon. Over here. What's the point of doing that? Isn't that just a complete waste of three mana? They just used a Zed Shadow Shift. That's just a waste of three mana, right? Like, it resulted in them having a Zed in hand. And if they didn't do that, they had a Zed in hand. I guess I guess what happened is they put a Zed back into their deck. So they spent three mana to shuffle a Zed into the deck. That's that's what they did there. So I guess they got a little bit something for their for their investment. Just a little something.
attack for 15. So why not play that first? Like why why pass and then do that during combat? Wouldn't that have been pretty good to do first and then A true Felyorian welcome. And then you have like these the three twos just kinda trade with the five ones? Unless they don't want, unless they don't want those to trade. Within my grasp. My life for Avarosa. Save the homestead. Ancient things trapped in the ice. Sejuani. Trust your instincts. Let's fly. Gladly. Scales of the dragon. They're all about this dragon. Pain is nothing. That's number two. What? Hardened scales. For glory, you are mine. Face me. Show me a target. Hmm. I guess it's better to do this. You know, I guess that's not lethal. It's not lethal the other way either, though. He has told me about you. Only the bad parts are true. All these dragons. So fast. Wish we had one more for a brittle steel. Again, if they, you know, have a twin disciplines to give it to plus, yeah, or might. Well, that's okay. Should be just fine. Just fine. We survive. All right, there we go. We had a little bit more of our power in that game than what we did the the game before, having a Sejuani or like, well, really babbling beard drawing Sejuani. Like that's nice having babbling beard because we ran out of cards last time. Reckoning, of course, looked awesome. There we go. Deck definitely looked definitely looked its part that game. Tavern Keeper just isn't really that great. I know I know Hearthguard is kind of slow, but Hearthguard is really good. Getting all your stuff to have uh, the plus one, plus one, that's really strong. And so I'm going to keep the Bjerg and the Hearthguard 
We haven't done a good job of drawing Omen Hawk. We haven't had Omen Hawk early in any of these games. And this is game four. That's rough. Guess I could have kept a, a Tavern Keeper, but it would have just been a 3-3, but then again, a 3-3 is better than nothing. No, we're playing against uh, Vimerdinger. If we can get this Reckoning to resolve, that will be really nice. Faster than my arrow? I think not. So Dwani's not bad. I'm going to go Ash plus Glory Seeker, though. Victory requires a sharp blade. That's unfortunate, and of course, I kind of wanted them to block with Solitary Monks. I'd, I'd have the Brittle Steel. Yeah, five mana. So let's see, so if I play this, I have three mana left. So I can have like Sentry plus. Nothing escapes my life. Just please, like, if they don't have Deny, this will be really good for us. Just please don't have Deny. Please don't have Deny. Okay, no Deny. Good pass. Oh, what? They didn't... Oh, okay. Hmm. They would have played that turret first. But they did. And I can't risk. I don't think I can risk uh, them not playing it. Bow to no one. I already had the Sejuani that you know we'd be able to play, do the vulnerable thing, so it's it's okay, they can play that 3-1 afterwards. 
Sure. I guess that does help keep them alive. I guess we were pretty close to killing them. Okay, so we fought through the first Vi and the first Heimerdinger. The first Heimerdinger Flash of Brilliance combo. We fought through both of those. That's good. And we got double Coaling Strike in hand. Alright, this is looking good. Yeah, that doesn't... It's perfectly fine. Our deck can hit so hard that... Don't really care about that. All right, GG's. Two and two. We survive. Getting back at it. <clears throat> Looks like my camera's a little behind. Let me refresh the camera. Okay, hopefully audio is not as behind now. And we can still get that winning record, still get that three and two, win this next one. Yeah, I always feel good, yeah, I always feel good beating uh, Heimerdinger. Heimerdinger, it's a tough card to beat. Especially, you know, turn five, Heimerdinger plus, or I guess it was turn six, but it doesn't really matter the turn, but just Heimerdinger plus Flash of Brilliance. Um, it's a tough one, it's a tough card to beat. So this will be interesting to play, the Misfortune version, to see how we do against it. Um, we'll get rid of the... I mean, like, the Assessor is how we can pull ahead. But I think I'm going to mulligan the two four mana cards, even though both of those are, like, good value cards. It's just... If we get rid of both of them, we draw two new ones, plus we draw another four cards by the time it's turn four. So we'll draw six cards, so it's pretty likely that we find that kind of stuff also. But, you know, maybe we can fill in our curve with these other kind of cards. Who's on top of the bounty board today? Dang. Nothing escapes my watch. That's a really good two drop. A two mana three four that also grants vulnerable. That's a powerful two drop. Point, I shoot. Look out for reavers. So do I calling strike this or do I try to calling strike misfortune? It's like, I want a Culling Strike Misfortune. So I'll just let this happen. Fight the signal fires. No, I haven't. Monster, I haven't seen that deck. A Callista Sejuani deck. Not and ready. I have not seen that. I could see that being good. I could see a lot of, you know, like Sejuani being a good, you know, basically you can go, you know, kind of normal they who endure, but instead of going Elise, having Sejuani the top end. We did that. Did I do that? We, I've played, I've played a deck like a they who endure Shadow Isles deck with they who endure and Sejuani. Oh no, no, I, they, they who endure and Hecarim at the top end. The, those combination of two. Yeah, those two together. Make it worth my while. Save the homestead. Go for goods is pretty busted. That's pretty busted. I think that I think that's my omen hawk. I think. Winter take you.
So I also kind of want to save like this. I like they're getting a lot of pressure out here, so I went ahead and played it. But I wanted to save the Ice Veil Archer for. Five five. I need just a moment. Wow. Wow. I'll cut them apart. Face me. Wow. So I want to kind of have like the Ice Veil Archer plus Culling Strike combo. Love doesn't look good because my reckoning doesn't kill misfortune. I can harsh winds plus culling strike. I suppose. This game has showed how good Omen Hawk is, right? Like these Omen Hawks that my opponent has had have been spectacular. Never stop shooting. Every week is a This can definitely go wrong for me. Even though that went right, still doesn't mean... Still doesn't mean I'm in the clear. Pain is nothing. I was hoping they didn't have that card. Man, that thing is pumped by Omenhawk too? Everything is. So Juani's four out of five. Bow to no one. It definitely feels like they have a Fury of the North or like a Sejuani Fury of the North. Uh, I probably just drew him one too. I can't, I can't stop it. Um, you know, it's that's burst speed. You know, the burst speed trouble. Like mine's fast. See, I can't, can't stop it. That levels up misfortune. They left me alone. That was a mistake. Those cards went. Everything went great for my opponent that game did especially like the double pilfered goods but yeah and uh take an omen hawk you know like they they not only had their 1-1 omen hawk but they took my 2-2 omen hawk which pumped up mi like their misfortune to be a 2-2 you know to be a 5-5 five five, and then also sejuani but that was really rough um how that worked with my omen hawk pumping their sejuani uh yeah, yeah, they drew really well, but that's kind of what Pilfer Goods does. Pilfer Goods is is pretty busted. So yeah, so we went two and three. Our our deck's powerful for sure. You know, like that. You know, two three pretty easily could have been three two four one. You know, the other ways. Uh, definitely a powerful deck. I really don't like Tavern Keeper as a three mana card. I don't think that it's good enough. I I would. I mean, it it would have been great against the Burn player. 
but we didn't draw it against the burn player but that's really it against every other deck i don't want it it's great against burn but against literally everything else i would much rather have um rhyme fang wolf or avaros and trapper you know depending on what what your preference is on those two i just i just want those two cards instead Did feel like we could have used a, a little bit more, you know, Frostbite, as as we kind of talked about. Flash Freeze did feel like a card that would have been nice to have. Would have been nice to have Flash Freeze to be able to pair with Reckoning. Um, but, you know, pairs with Culling Strike. I don't know where we fit those in. Maybe it's, I don't know, maybe it's, that's, I don't know where we fit those in. Um, but Flash Freeze does seem just like a really good card right now. There's just, there's really big singular threats the flash freeze can help out against but you think the trapper's too good with the trifarian assessor i don't know right fang wolf's just kind of too good with ash and just having more having more challengers just to be able to be removal i really miss not having right fang wolf in this deck but if you like if you like trapper because of assessor i mean the thing is assessor is just awesome anyway like, i don't know if you really need because it's, it's like this part um where's the card like this part of avaros and trapper is just the same like it's just the three mana three three just like the kindly tavern keeper but that card does doesn't really do that much you know it's not it's nothing special it's just one of it's and it doesn't like create it doesn't give you card advantage it just has a one mana five five for that you draw later on, um, which is definitely good. It you know helps you double spell. You know like you get to play this with something else, and it helps you double spell in a turn. It's it's definitely good to have that. Um, but I don't know, like the removal availability of being able to take out lots of stuff with the Ryan Fang Wolf. I, I love that. But again, if you play Ryan Fang Wolf, you probably got to have more Frostbite. Um, Icefield Archer looked pretty bad. That could be another card to kind of look at. Like, may, like Ice Hill Archer really didn't look good. Like, maybe Ice Hill Archer could be um, some Flash Freeze also in there. Uh, see, yeah, this didn't didn't look very good. Um, but uh, there we go. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And if you're playing this kind of deck, if you're playing the mid range Frostbite deck. Um, let me know what you think of, of like the card discussion that I talked about here at the end. Let me know what cards do you really like. Um, you know, like what's your impression of Icefail Archer, Kindly Tavern Keeper, um, Avaros and Trapper, uh, um, Flash Freeze, and Rhyme Fang Wolf, all that kind of stuff. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Some mid-range frostbite, and I'll see you for the next video.